name's Josh Jamelli. You might have read some of my workshop articles in Farming Ahead magazine. Today we're going to kick off a new series of short, simple videos on workshop fundamentals where we hope we can teach you a few new skills on top of the stuff that you might already know. Now, um, at this stage, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Hare and Forbes, who have started to support the workshop series in Farming Ahead magazine, and uh, they're helping make some of this stuff possible. Okay, so let's get stuck into it. We're gonna look at something pretty simple. Uh, first up, thread taps. Now, have you ever wondered why, for a particular thread, you might have three different taps? Well, I'll show you why. We have a look at these here. These are for your standard metric threads. And we have, firstly, a tapered tap. This one here is called the intermediate tap. And this is called the plug tap or the bottoming tap. And you'll notice the difference between them. This one has a tapered thread going up to about seven or eight threads. That's used for starting off in the hole. It's a lot easier to get it straight, less chance of getting it skewed. The intermediate tap is what's used after the tapered tap. It's still got a little bit of a taper, but not as much, maybe about four or five threads. The plug tap or the bottoming tap is used, if you're tapping into uh, the bottom of a hole or a blind hole, you use this tap to go all the way to the bottom to get the thread to go all the way to the base of the hole. If you're tapping through a piece of uh, metal and the tap gets to go out the other side, so it's a through hole, then you can just get away with using this tap because you just keep winding it in, the taper comes out the other side and you'll end up with a fully formed thread. If you're going into a blind hole and you don't have uh, a bottoming tap and the hole's quite deep, you can still probably get away with one of these. The threads in the bottom of the hole will be tapered, but if the bolt thread is short enough, it won't uh, end up in the bottom of the hole where the thread is actually tapered and bind up. Now, there is actually a little tip that you can use if you're trying to start a thread off and you don't have a tapered tap and that's all you've got and you might have a bit of trouble uh, centering it, what you can do is actually bore the hole at the top oversize. So maybe use a slightly larger drill bit just in the first couple of millimetres and that'll actually help you get that started in the hole. If we have a look here, this is a pretty typical thread set and um, there aren't three taps for each thread in here, there are actually two. And I've got, uh, say, a three quarter inch UNF thread tap here. And you'll see it's almost like a bit of a compromise. This one here is kind of halfway between an intermediate and a taper tap. And this is the bottoming tap. And it's just got probably a little bit extra taper there put on the end. Anyway, I hope that explains some of the reasons why thread taps are made the way they are. Uh, in the next video, we might look at a few hints and tips in using them. Thanks for watching.